Julia and today I'm going to do a just get ready with me video but it's not going to be like super edited and stuff it's me just like putting on my makeup as I'm doing it talking you through it um, I will be doing kind of a more sort of my morning routine more elaborate get ready with me video I think I really want to do that I think they're really fun to watch this one I, I really am just kind of on my way out um, to, do, to do some stuff and I thought I would do a fall look for you guys and I wanted to try out some of the products that I picked up at a drugstore recently so yeah, this is just a quick and easy video for you guys, so let's get started. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just applying the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation with a damp sponge. And this is that Beauty Blender dupe from DM, which is available at um, DM stores. And I'm just applying this really lightly. I don't really like wearing um, like a ton of foundation in the day. I just don't like that sort of cakey feeling. And also since I have bangs, um, I don't really even apply a lot of foundation on my forehead because it's covered up by my hair anyway I just apply it like a really really light layer. Sorry guys the video just cut off for some reason I just applied the uh, soft ochre paint pot by MAC kind of all over my lid and now I'm applying the toughest taupe Cream color base by Maybelline. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that onto my lid and I do like these, but I have found that they dry out like super fast. Like this one is so dry already. So this is one of the eyeshadows that I recently picked up at the drugstore. And this is by Margaret Astor, which is like a European brand. And this is in the shade Hot Coffee. So I just swatched this there and it seemed to be really nicely pigmented. Let's just see how this works. Hmm. Not bad. It's kind of a bronzy, like deep brown, like a chocolate, like a rich chocolate brown. And they had a few other colors, but I didn't like any other colors, which is kind of, kind of sad because I can't combine it with another one from the same collection. So this look isn't going to be like brain surgery or anything. This is a kind of a simple look, but I think it's going to look really nice for fall, like a nice fall brown eye look. All right, so there I've applied that. Now I'm just gonna grab a blending brush. And this is the Sigma E25. It's kind of a copy of the MAC 217 and this one is kind of similar except this one's already starting to, like the glue here is just, I don't know, like the glue on the Sigma brushes are just is just not very durable. Like I've had several brushes that came apart. I mean, I just glued them back together but it's just kind of annoying because it starts, it starts wiggling, like this head starts wiggling and it's kind of annoying when you're using the brush. I am just blending out that brown a little bit. And on the inner part of my eye there, I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow by L'Oreal and this is called Hourglass Beige. It might have a different name in North America. I'm just gonna apply some of that on that inner part of my eye. Like as a highlight, just gonna blend that in a bit. This is mixing really nicely with that brown color. And I'm just gonna take some of that same eyeshadow from Market Aster um, to put a little bit of that on my lower lash line. So I just added a little bit of that highlighter shade kind of in the very inner part and blended that out. So to take the transition to smooth that out a little bit, I'm going to take MAC Malt. This is just using that blending brush from Sigma again. The one that's slightly wobbling. <laughs> and then underneath my eye, I'm just going to blend out with a little bit of MAC Shroom. So this is just right underneath my brow. So then I'm going to take this eyeshadow which I bought when I was working at Bobbi Brown because I had the artist discount so I bought this one because I actually used this on a ton of my clients there and it's the sparkle eyeshadow in the shade sunlight so it doesn't really have much of a color like it looks gold but it's more like a really sparkly eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack a little bit of that on top of my lid kind of gives this Sparkling effect. A little sparkle there. Just gonna blend that out a bit. 
I'm going to add some eyeliner and this is Deep Bronze by Smashbox. It's the gel liner and I'm just going to use an artist brush to apply that and make kind of a winged eyeliner. I'm just going to do that quickly off camera just so this video doesn't get super long. So underneath my eyes I'm going to be using some concealer. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I'm just going to get a little bit of that onto a brush. I like it because it kind of has a brightening and a concealing effect in one. I don't know if it's even made, it's not really even made as an Android concealer, but for me this just works, so. For lashes, I'm going to use the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal, which I've been using actually quite a lot and I've been really enjoying this. So I finished up the eye makeup. I just uh, did a little bit of definition on my brows using some brow products and um, yeah, mascara on the top and bottom. So for the lips, I'm gonna be using this lip liner by Essence and I picked this up also at the drugstore and I wanted to try it out. And it's called number 11 in the nude. It's just a really nude color, obviously. So I'm just gonna fill in my whole lips actually with that. And then I also picked up this uh, lipstick. This is by L'Oreal Paris. It's the Collection Privée by J. Lo. So it seems to be like a limited edition thing with J. Lo. And it's one of the color riche and it's called J. Lo's Nude. Can you guys hear that candle in the back? There's like this one annoying candle that keeps like making noises. Uh, psh, quiet, I'm trying to film here. Like a pink caramel nude. The only thing I'm not too crazy about the lipsticks by L'Oreal is that they have this kind of very old-fashioned tent taste and scent. I think they really need to update that. It smells like a 1980s lipstick. And on my cheeks, I'm going to be using this cream blush, or it's called the Magic Smooth Souffle Blush. This is also by L'Oreal. Honestly, I don't even know if they make these anymore. This is kind of an older product, and it is in the shade 846 Plum. Just a really nice, like plummy, plum pink shade. And I just took a little bit of this blush at the end. This is by La Roche Posay, and I've been using this blush tons. It's the Fard d'Ajou in Rose Doré, so it's kind of a like a dusty rose, but it has a little bit of a gold shimmer. I'm just gonna layer this on top, and that's also gonna make the blush last like a long time because you've got like a cream base now, like the creamy blush underneath, and then. The powder on top so the blush will last much longer that way. Lastly I'm taking the Hourglass Finishing Powder. This is in um, the Ambient Lighting Powder, sorry, in Mood Light and I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that kind of over my face. It gives a really nice finish. And just to finish off the lips I'm going to add just a tiny bit of gloss in the center. This is the Revlon Lip Gloss in Peach Petal. Yes, Peach Petal. It's like a nude nudie pink kind of gloss. All right, I think that's it. That's pretty much the whole look. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's really simple. I will see you guys very soon, bye.